So today we are going to discuss on how to approve um, software automatically in Vezos Server. So let's say you are um, you are the administrator of Vezos Server in your company, and you actually need to be approving software every single day or all the time if um, updates or critical security updates are available um, in your server. So, but you have the option to actually um, approve this. Um, updates if they are available automatically to the right to the various um, computer groups so the computer will actually check this update and see if it actually needs this update so the computer will not install updates that it does not need it will only install updates that is actually required for that computer so if you want to create actually let's say I have here I have a computer group here which I have two operating system on it one is a Windows 10 Pro and the other one is a Windows 10 Enterprise. I'm using both of them are actually evaluation. Um, I'm using the evaluation key and not the license key. So let's go. Let me go back to my options here and click. Click here. You can see you can specify how to automatically approve installation of updates for selected groups and how to improve revision to existing updates. So click on automatic approval. So I'm going to create a new rule and this new rule. I'm going to specify the name. I'm going to call it um, updates for Windows. And here I'm going to choose when an update is in a specific classification. So let me just so right now it's saying any classification. I don't want that. I only want critical update. Um, let me just use security update and then definition update as well. So for the rest, I'm just going to leave that for this test environment. And I say when an update is in a specific product, so I'm going to select that as well. On a, any products, I don't need any products. So let me uncheck that. So I'm going to go to Windows 10. I'm going to say, first of all, let's say if the update is only for Windows 10 and not for Windows Server. So I'm just going to select all the Windows 10 um, updates in case I have different version of Windows operating system. But the two operating systems I'm using are version, I think, 1909. So let me just select all Windows 10 operating um, updates and see if it meets the requirement. So it's going to install. And I'll say, I'm going to set a deadline for this. So if the update is available and um, the deadline should be like, okay, let me just set the deadline. See, I think the deadline is says seven days, so I'm gonna actually just put like um, 14 days. So what happens is this: if the update is available, so I may actually have some group which I use as a test environment. First of all, I need to, I need to make sure that these updates are installed on these test computers. Then after everything goes well, after like 14 days, and I see there is no problem, the update will be automatically installed on every other operating system. So let me just click for the 14 days and approve the update for all computers. I don't want it to be approved for all computers. I just want it to be approved only for the Windows 10 operating system. And for this, let me change. I can as well say, if for example, you have like um, the Microsoft Office installed on that computer, you can as well choose um, to um, the Office, like for example, you have the Office 2000 and let me see, I think we have the Office yeah, okay, we have the office like Office 2019, Office 365. So you can as well choose this as well to install Office updates on the computer automatically instead of the user trying to do that themselves. So I would click OK and apply. So right now, if the updates are available for Windows 10, the update will be installed on those computer. So that is how it is to actually um, approve update automatically to your Windows operating system. You can as well do the same thing for your Windows Server 2019, 2016, or even Windows Server 2008 as well. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. And if this video has been of any help to you, please don't also forget to give me a thumb and like my videos for taking my time to create this video. Please just try and encourage me. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.